Hey everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play CC2LP1. I went ahead and just moved on to the next level in between recordings. Uh, so I'm in level 91 right now, which is chipdied.wmv, which has a really interesting distinction as being the first official set level with a lowercase beginning title. Uh, so it looks like uppercase here, but if you look at the menu bar, you can actually see the, the lowercase. But um, I did not guess this one correctly. I had blocked in at this slot, which we've already seen. So, but it's all right. Let's go ahead and get started. So this level has, this is kind of like an advanced version, if you want to call it that, of In a Minefield, where you kind of have to be careful about where you tread here. Because we are in a giant minefield. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I'm singing. Da -da 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 -dum, bum, bum, bum. We'll see where we need to go. La, 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 la. For some reason, I still have flashbacks to double agent and having to navigate that. All right, so far we're doing all right, I'd say. Although, I don't know exactly where we're headed, which is a little concerning. So the point of this level, if I remember correctly, is that you want to get each chip detonating one bomb. Like over there, you can see one there, but we're going to have to come back and visit that later. And that was not the correct answer, so let's scrap that. I do think that this general path is correct, though. So let's see if we... Okay, that's not working out. All right. Got to be careful, especially with this few chi uh, chips in the in play, or this many, I should say. I'm getting tired. I think this is going to be my last recording for the night. I, for those of you who are may not be aware, I'm actually still on the very first night of recording. Uh, the set just got released today, so I'm getting a little, I think I'm fading a little bit here. All right, let's see if this, is this correct? Yes, this looks promising. So we'll come back for that after we're done here. So now we need to go to a place where you don't really need to worry about who's on the bottom. So I'm curious who that, where that is, and is that over here? I think the answer is yes, I can do that. All right, so we got two taken care of. So I know there's one up top um, in this area over here. Uh, is that where you get to that from? I'm going to guess that this is the final one. Yeah, I don't think there's any way you can get up there otherwise. So we'll come back to that one later. So is the one that we need to get to now in the bottom left? That's the question we must ask ourselves. Okay, I want to get over there. I just don't know how. This way? Okay, good. I kind of like how more and more of this level just opens up to you as you go on. It's pretty cool. Oh, wait, are we back in the upper left again? I think we are. Oh, one of them has to destroy that. Oh. Well, I'll, I'll use that one then. Because I really want to use this chip on that key over there. I thought you had to have four keys. But apparently you need three keys and then the path to the exit. So let's go over here. Now that we can navigate here. And we got it. All right. That was really satisfying. I, I really enjoyed that. 
Honestly, I kind of found this easier than in a minefield, and I think it's because it's less visually cluttered. But, I don't know. I, I still feel like I did something really wrong on in a minefield, so that's what it is. All right, so that is um, chipdie.wmv. It's interesting, though, because isn't WMV like a video format? Like, I thought Chip Died would be like an audio clip or something, but maybe it is a video thing. All right, so next level is a Josh level. I currently have Cosmic Dump as that level. I don't know if that's right, though. It feels like it's been a while since we had Forest Hub, so... <gasps> I got it right! Oh, man! You, you Seriously, it is so satisfying when that happens now. Like, it's... I'm savoring all the moments when that happens, because it doesn't happen enough. Alright, so Cosmic Dump is indeed 92. That is cool. So this level is... The best way I can describe it is it reminds me a lot of Josh's CCLV4 levels, particularly in the walls of Gravel Castle. And I think I'm, I'm drawn to that comparison, because... This definitely has a lot of block pushing. Like, the aesthetic is very different, but all the rooms... Well, not all the rooms, but quite a few of the rooms, and especially at the beginning of this level, involve some kind of block pushing. So, this is... This one's pretty cool. In this one, you have to put a hook here. Although, I think you actually... You actually push it in first. So, let's go down here. You have to push it in the trap. Then you do this, and then you go here. There you go. That is a really fun little bit there. Okay, so now the next section is we have a turning railroad thing there. And now we go into glider territory where there's a red key apparently and a yellow door which we can use to get over here where we have to promptly give up our flipperoos and there's a random exclamation point it was funny I remember when the, the prediction cycle first started one of the first things that Tyler mentioned was what symbols were in the set and he mentioned a an exclamation point and a question mark, which can be seen over there. Now, there were other levels that had one. Tyler actually submitted a level with a question mark, but I don't think it did very well. Or at the very least, not as well as some of his other stuff. Okay, I don't want to risk that, so... Okay, so here we have a monster section, and I think that's the monster that we have to get with a bowling ball, is the tank, because I don't see any other way of getting into that. Oh, there's also a blue key. Did I miss something here? Don't tell me that I'm completely missed this. Uh, so in my defense, I figured, okay, the bowling ball should take care of the monster that you can't get past, right? And apparently, there's only one of them. And we used it on the wrong thing. Great. All right, we'll go ahead and just give up on that try. All right, no harm, no foul, though, right? It's not, not a big deal. This level is fun. I I think the first time I played it, uh, it was in the Ostrich Pack, which was the very first pack I voted on. And I wasn't the biggest fan of it just because it came... And this, was, this is part of the issue with having... Um, like, certain levels next to each other. But it's the risk you take with randomized packs, right? So, Josh had a forest hub and rage rooms right before this. 
which I rated both a four, I believe. And uh, looking back, I wish I rated them higher, but I was a lot harsher, I think, at the start of voting than I was later in voting. So when I got to this level, which was the final level of the set, I was kind of like, I felt like this one didn't quite compare to those ones. And I just didn't really see how fun it was at the time. But now I'm like, you know, this is pretty fun. I do like this one. So this is mainly just for getting rid of your green key, so you don't, don't have that anymore, I guess. Alright, I'm going to wait before I cross the street here. I've learned my lesson about rushing headlong into monster issues, so... Alright, I'm going to look a little more closely at that bowling ball thing, because I feel like I missed something really important there. Whoops. Almost, uh, almost went straight down with, uh, with that. That would have been most unfortunate. I really like this aesthetic with the bombs and the exits. Like, that's really cool. Gives it a really spacey kind of feel. Which is very appropriate. Okay, so now we get in here. So how in the world do I get that blue key? Short of using a bowling ball. And how do I not use the bowling ball on this? Unless there's another one that's inside past that blue door. Which, I mean, I guess that's possible, right? I could see that being the case. Or there could be a tank button, which is always possible. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I mean, at this point, I don't really see how we can get that. Actually, wait a minute. Even if there were... Oh, wait. Here we go. There's, there's a fire boot. I think that would help, right? Yeah, that would definitely help. That's a little mean... But it's not that big of a deal. Oh, wait, there's a chip over there. Okay, I'm nervous about pushing blue walls when hazards are around, but thankfully that's only in that section. I don't think, yeah, you can't touch the edge. Okay, be very careful here. I think... Yeah, I think we need to do that. Because I need to get that, the, the directional block as the one to uh, reach us to the exit. So the normal blocks won't be able to do that. And I'm guessing we can't get to that slime, right? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about having to go all the way around here again, but eh, it's fine. All right, that is Cosmic Dump, which was fun. Okay, so the next level is another H201. I had Bit Player there, but we did that in the last decade, so I'm still holding out for Line or Powder Monkey. We'll see how things go, or more tanks. It's Warp. Oh, this is another one I had later. Okay. So I recall this one had a thing. Yeah, you couldn't get the the green key. I, I remember that. So... Now, was the thing that you had to do here... I'm trying to remember this. Okay, that, that was clearly a fail. Let's do that for now. The only problem, though, is I need to use at least one... I have to have one of these destroyed by this. And 
this is not cutting it here. I, I need to get this block up there, so that's not going to work either. Huh, okay. Seems we've landed ourselves in a pickle, but I think we can get this. We can just do that. That works. Oh, I shouldn't have pushed it that far. Okay, yeah, this is the way to do it. Because you have to do that, ultimately. Okay, so now we have a Sokoban. Fun times. Uh, I guess we do this? I have no idea. Okay. So I can't take that out of here. So if I go back through there, then... That'll jumpstart that whole thing. And I can then get everything I need from this. Including a fire boot. And somehow I forgot that I didn't have that. This is how you know it is 2.15 in the morning. Alright. Let's be serious here. We can do this. We can do this. This is... This is simple stuff. We can do this. Alright, I'm pretty sure that this m set of moves is perfectly fine. The level does something interesting by forcing you to do that. Earlier on. Okay, so we do this. We get these. Then we switch to Rue again. Do that. Get that first, and then we get the chip. Okay. So we can go up or right through here by doing what we just did. Good to know. Okay. Alright, I'm going to put this back there for now. And then, let's go up again. That should do. Maybe. Uh. Wait a minute. I, for some reason, I thought one of the buttons was here in the middle. I don't know why I thought that. Okay, I can't come around from it from that other side and get it. I think we may have ruined this, because I don't see a way to salvage it. I could try to make another round here, but I don't think that'll work. Especially since that button controls this, whereas this other one... Unless I can... Yeah, that, that's not really going to help in this case. Yeah, let's just start over. Restart. Alright, so we do this, get these. Okay, this first part, fairly confident that's correct. It's just this latter part that I'm a little less sure about. I like this this feel of the level, though. It, it has a really nice cadence to it. Okay. So from here, I can do this. So I'm just wondering, is there any benefit... I don't see any way you can do it to holding these two open, but not that. But then I can't actually get the block in there, so it's like, why wouldn't you hold all three of them down, right? Like, that's kind of the dilemma of this whole deal.
I feel like this is really simple, and I'm just making it out to be way harder than it actually is. I, I blame it on the time of, of night on this one. See, I don't want to push that to the right, because that, that's going to basically guarantee that I'm screwed. But am I already screwed? I could do that. Does that help in any way? See, my concern with pushing this up is that I'd be committing to one of these buttons. And if I go to the left, then there's no way I can push something there. Right? So maybe what I need to be doing... Whoops. So let, let's go around again. Maybe what I need to be doing is actually something like this, where I station blocks there. Would that help? Or did I just make this worse? I think I might have made this worse. Uh... Yeah, th this is not good. This did not actually help at all. God, it's so weird. Like, I don't understand what you're supposed to do here. All right, let's, let's try to just break this down logically and f figure it out. Okay, I don't think pushing this down twice is going to help us. That's actually going to ruin it. So I have to do this. I have to do that. I go through here and do all the stuff in this room. Go here, do all the stuff in this room. And then I get the fire boots. So... Yeah, what do you do with this? And am I just completely blind and silly and missing things? Because I feel like you kind of have to shuffle things around over this direction. See, part of the problem is that if I'm going to use this door, I actually have to have both of these open. And at that point... Using, like, using this is kind of negligible, right? Like, that's not really going to help anything. So, like, I don't understand why you would. Hmm. I don't get it. I'm really lost. And there's no other way that I know of to hold these down, right? Like, I can't go back here, grab these. At least I'm pretty sure you can't. Because I would have to open that door if I got that key, and that, that would just be a mess. So I'm going to guess that that's not the answer. goodness what am I missing with this level I feel like I'm so close to cracking this and for some reason I cannot and the reason for it is just eluding me this whole time and I'm just going around circles doing this whole dealy here again and again I don't see what you're supposed to do.
because I need. Okay, let, 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 let's break this down. I need this. I need to get over here and put something in this slot to get there, right? And I need to put something in this slot in some f way. So, like, it's like, how do I get something up here and be able to do this? Like, if I had a block there, that doesn't really help in any way, does it? Unless I got... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Unless I did this. I, I have an idea. But it's going to have to... I need to get this actually over here on the, the top right one. Okay, I, I think I see how I might be able to pull this off. So if I do this, I can get that. This is what I want to do. I think that's the key. I need to get this around. It was just a matter of visualizing it. There we go. Man, that was a thing. Okay. There we are. Finally. Okay. That was a really clever Sokoban, especially since you have to make that loop around a couple times to do it. That was cool. Okay, so speaking of Sokobans, my next prediction is for a Jeffrey level. And I have Get Your Hands Dirty here, primarily because I think this was selected. Um, this went up against Extraction, which actually technically did better, but the distribution of block-pushing levels uh, was what led the staff to pick that one, uh, Get Your Hands Dirty. So I'm wondering if it's around here. Various hues of blue. Okay, that one's... That one's also a little later for me. Okay. So this is a Jeffrey level where you have blue stuff. It might be worth keeping an eye out for where teleports lead. Okay. So there's a teleport there. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. I, I have to bounce it. Derp. Let's do just that. Got so excited there, I kind of didn't even take notice of that. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now I have a button. Oh. Okay. So what does that accomplish? Oh, I can go over here. Uh. Okay. I feel like there's a formation that I'm supposed to be getting at here, and I'm missing it. Something like... Oh, wait, they push them. I forgot about that. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to be pushing these up here. I'm an idiot. I completely missed that. All right, let's stop being silly and actually do this. Okay, that, that makes way more sense. I'm like, what are we doing with these blocks? I can't even... I can't even begin to fathom what we're doing with these blocks. It makes way more sense now, though. Okay, so... I do this. Get the, the tanks moving. Okay, so now I can actually do that. Get these there. Get those there. Okay. Cool. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I remember Jeffrey made this level, I think, in CC1, but with the PG chip patch that added the ice blocks. But they were the blocks that normal blue tanks could push, which is really interesting. So what does that help us with, getting these skates? What did that do? 
Oh, I see. I can go down there. Gotcha. And there's a walker, so we need to be very careful for that. Oh, whoa! Okay! That was what the hint was talking about. Okay. Good to know. I did not realize that that was going to happen. Yeah, that was kind of a bit of a surprise. I'm guessing you could see that, but I didn't realize that that was going to happen right there. Alright. Let's try this again. Go there. Okay, get that prepped there. Alright, let's do this without dying, hopefully. There we go. Okay, so now we can go this way. And there's a tank thing going here. So where does this teleport lead? It goes right. Okay. Okay, this looks rather scary. I need to get this... pair of flippers, but the glider is going to have something to say about that. Okay, let's trap that glider. Okay, this is where playing a level like Slip Up really helps. I can see that now. Can I push these over through the teleport? Ooh, I can. In fact, I need two of them. Or do I? I might just... No, I, I do. I do need two of them. Oh. Can I get skates of any sort? Oh, I only need one of them because I had flippers. Duh! Oh my goodness, I was making that way harder in myself than I needed to. Okay. That was a dumb move, JB. That was a dumb move. Alright, let's try that again. Try that again. Thankfully, doing this is pretty fun. I, I do like this ice block section. This thing with the tanks is really clever. I should have done that first, then do that. Then we can slip in over here. Then get over here. Okay. I wish the hint actually was next to that teleport and just told you, hey, you may want to go to the right, you know, something like that. Whoops. That was not the desired result. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, that was a lot less painful than last time. Okay, there we go. So now let's go over here. Don't know what this is going to do. Is this a... Oh, it's an ice block cloner. Nice. So, this is going to go over here, where I can get this key, and then I can go back. Ah! I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot there would be a thing there. So, wait a minute. Am I supposed to... Don't tell me I'm supposed to catch a, an ice block midstream while it bounces off another one. That would be nasty. 
that would be nasty. I, I forgot about the ending of this, so I, I actually do not know the answer to that. Alright, let's try that again. This time, hopefully we won't die a painful, chilly death. Painful, chilly deaths are hazardous to your health, kids. You, you really don't want those. Like, trust me on this one. Trust Chip McCallahan. He knows what he's talking about. All right. Oh, and I forgot to set the thing there. There we go. Yeah, I think I had... I did vaguely remember having trouble with this one, and maybe that's why I put it later on my list. Maybe that's the reason. So did that block a teleport? I wonder. Okay, there we go. I wonder if putting it in the corner was a better option, though. Okay, thankfully this is not that difficult. Just need to dig around in there a little. Okay, we got the chip. We can get out of here. So this ice block cloner. My question here is, do you have to block slide a block in this? I'm going to just set everything up here first and see. Okay, I think the answer is yes, but it's not that bad. There we go. Okay, that is a relief. I, I'm very thankful for that. So, where's the exit, though? Is it up here? It would appear yes. Yes, it is over here. That was fun. I did like that, despite some of the frustrations. I think that's a really... F that, that has a really nice flow to it. I think that's really cool. Okay, so next level is by Tyler... I'm wondering if it's remote detonator, because we just had a very blue level. That'd be a very yellow level. Let's see. Ooh, it's strike. Okay, so this level, um, I completely kind of brushed aside when I first played this one. And I didn't really spend a good amount of time giving it its fair, its fair due, you know. But I played it off screen when, uh, at, like, after voting and stuff. And I ended up really liking it. Like, I really enjoyed it. So, yeah, I kind of wish that I. Okay, so I can get it to get rid of its thing there. But then I need to get another. Okay, I, need, I needed to get another suction boot there. Yeah, so the, the puzzle of this level is really interesting in that you are essentially trying to get this bowling ball to let go of its inventory at certain points, and it's really fascinating. Okay, so if I go here... All right, let me get a couple more hiking boots. So I can force it to let go of the suction boot there. And then... Oh, wait. No, I want it to, to get a suction boot. But I want it to let go of the suction boot, like, over here. So, like, this... This would be a really weird one to optimize. Okay. So you just have one suction boot left. Oh, that is so satisfying. Man, I I like that. That, that is cool. And I wish I solved it when I voted, but it is such a fun one. I, I do like it a lot. Um... I wasn't expecting it this early, though. I thought this would have been later, because it definitely kind of requires a little bit more 
more experience with inventories for the bowling balls and whatnot. So I'm surprised this is placed that early. But still fun. All right, another Jeffrey level. What could it be? Sentinel Beach. Wow, this is placed this early. Color me surprised. I was not expecting that. Okay. I don't understand why there's an ice slide there, but hopefully that will become clearer as time goes on. I see that there is a... Oh, wait. That's right. We're playing as Melinda, so... Ice does make sense. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, I need to not hesitate. So, But is that possible to make that? Let's see. It is, okay. Just want to make sure. So why would I go to the right first when I can just do this? Unless the point is just to observe. Is that what I need to do? Just... That can't be it, because I need to also... Oh, I see. I would get the glider stuck on that. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So as long as I don't go above these teeth monsters, I'm fine. Okay, so now I'm fine to go up here. Okay, so now I need to get this tank to get through that, but not before... Okay, this is going to be interesting. So I need to make a loop around here. That's going to be fascinating. Okay, so one of the blocks almost certainly will go here. Uh, I'm a little nervous about putting that up, so I'm gonna just going to put it here, actually. Okay, good. Now I can push these. It's so satisfying to do that, by the way. Okay, so we got that. So now I need to make a return trip in order to get this to actually work. Thankfully that actually is not an issue. Okay, so now that I got that done, we can now move on to the next level. So I cannot go above that, but the yellow tank can. Alright, yellow tank, that is not what I meant for you to do, buddy. I need you to work with me here, man. I need you to work with Uncle JB. Alright, so we can do that. There we go. Wait, what? How did it already go? Did I go up too quickly? I bet I did. Oh no, I bet I went up there instead of down. I think that was the issue. Okay, that, that makes sense. See, the problem with putting this up is that if I do that, then I can't extract that block out, so that's going to be a bit of an issue. So I have to do it the way I've been doing it, I think. But now I have to go do this again in order to actually push it over. That's kind of a little frustrating, but eh, it's nothing too bad. This level is fun enough. Like, it, it's a really cool concept. Okay, so don't do what I did a minute ago. Okay. 
Okay. So now I gotta figure out a way. Well, actually, no. Th this is fine. I can just do that. Perfect. So now we have another one over here. Actually, two. Hmm. How am I going to get that over there? And what's the... Oh. That's interesting. Okay, I think I see it. So I have to do this first. Then I go around here, get this, do this, put this in place yet again, or no, I put this over here in place, then I do this, there we go, perfect, get all the chips, get all the chips, get all the chips, do 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 get all the chips, get all the chips. Do 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 boo boo. This is strangely satisfying. Okay, I need to come at it from this this direction. And we get that one. And now we got everything. Hooray. Now how oh wait. That's right. I can go right through here. All right. So now I have all this room, and I got bonus opportunities. And do I want to go for bonuses at this point? I don't know. I just kind of want to get to the exit. Although I can explore the beach. It's kind of fun. There's keys. So I guess if you hold down those trap buttons, you can get the the keys, and that'll give give you the bonus flags that are behind the the blue doors. I'm not going to worry about that here. I, I feel like this recording is already running a little long, so we'll just go ahead and exit. I like this level, though. This is a really cool concept. Uh, a lot earlier than I was expecting. I thought this would be around the 110s or something, so that is cool. All right, level 97 is a Joshua Bone level. I have repeaters for it, but we already played, so Mark Canal, maybe? Around the corner. This is this early. Wow. Use the portal to rotate tanks counterclockwise. Ensure they have somewhere to go. One ship in each hallway, but only need two. All right. Counterclockwise, huh? So, because I get the green key, I believe that means that... So this means it goes down, right? Yeah, that goes down. There we go. So if it goes left, then it goes down as well. This concept, man, this, this is a cool concept. So, going down... Wait, going right would be correct, right? Yes, okay. This is probably like a really slow way of doing this, but it's at least working, and that's ultimately what counts. So, down and right are correct. Okay, got it. And let's make sure that you go the correct way. There we go. All right. And I know there's one down here. Okay, so if it goes left then it goes down, which is kind of a problem. So we want it to go right, actually. So it goes up. Okay. So 
This feels really risky somehow. So right is up. Okay, good. I feel like I went... I feel like I did this... I'm doing this very inoptimally. But yeah, I'm surprised this one is this early. I guess because the third tank, if I remember correctly, the third tank you don't have to do. So it makes sense from that perspective. I really like this idea, though. It's pretty cool. So right... Yeah, right is up. So we can go this way. Let's see if I can actually get the third one. I know that this involves, like, switching out the... The teleport's midstream, though. So down is... Wait. Let's go this way. Left is down. Okay, that, that is what we want. Down goes right. Alright. And then left goes down. This part, at least, is good. By the way, this is the layout of Trinity. It, I don't know if that it was pretty evident. but Okay, I think this is where it gets a little crazy, if I remember correctly. Because down and right... Yeah, th this part is fine. It's more when it gets up here to the up and right part, where things get a little, little weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and push that. All right, now we're going to take... I probably should have tried this first before doing everything else. So right... So what I want to have happen is that ultimately... Wait, right? Wait, this is still fine, right? Yeah, that that's still fine. Okay. It's more what's about to happen here right after this because I'm about to push the, I'm about to push the tank up through the teleport, which means it needs to go left, which means ultimately I'm going to need to cycle it through by placing the teleport two spaces to the right while it's going around. Oops. Uh, I think it erased it. I didn't mean to hit the button again. That was dumb. Uh, at, at any rate. We'll just live with what we have. It's fine. I think we were on the right track, though. But I'm glad that that one's optional. I, I don't think it would have been cool if it weren't. All right, there we go. Nice, hefty bonus. Okay, so that is around the corner. The next three levels, I do know what they are, um, thanks to some information from Tyler. So the first one is going to be... In fact, let me just go ahead and mark all these levels as incorrect, because we've been pretty much zero for seven so far. All right, the first one is going to be Gentleman's Club by Josh Lee. Uh, so, funny story, the other day we were talking on the Discord and someone was like, man, this is a really saucy level set with level titles like Get Behind Me, Satan, and other things. And Josh was, and one of them was Gentleman's Club, and he was like, what's so saucy about that? And I think someone, what was it, Tyler or someone else was like, it's a strip club. <laughs> he said, I didn't know that, I thought it was like a country club or something. I thought that was kind of funny. All right, so we just need to do this, and then now, whoops, that is not the item I wish to drop, Mr. McCallahan. Okay, so now we go over here. So we're basically killing all these chips, which is a really strange thing. Um, now, hang on a sec. I think I have to do this first. Yeah, I need to do that first. That makes some sense. Okay, so now we go over here. Do this, and now I can shed my yellow key. 
And you can't get that red key down there, by the way, because I remember that part. Okay, how do we handle this? This is going to be interesting. I guess we start with that. Then we go over here. And I suppose we queer a path. That seems reasonable. Now, what do I do with this ice block? Do I take it back? I'm assuming I need to do something involving that. All right, we'll probably come back through there later, if I remember correctly. Okay, we got some fun happening here. Let us roll the ball so that we can unlock that. And then... Wait, was I supposed to use that to get both of these? I bet I was. Let's do that again. No harm, no foul, right? We're still in good shape. We just need to complete three more levels and then I can go to bed for the night. Okay, this one, now I remember how to do it. You just have to do this. Oh wait, I can't actually block slap that. Oh well. No time wasted on that at least. Okay, so now I can go through the no key sign, go up here, do that, kill this one, kill you, all the fun stuff. Okay, so how do I do this? Oh, I go through that first. Oh, I'm, I'm silly. Okay, let's do that again. There we go. Okay, that's how you do it. Way more sense than the nonsense I was just trying. Alright, we got a chip going crazy here. Okay. Do that. Get this one, and I take it this is just for doing that in there, or is it? Wait, no it is, because the bug is ultimately going to need to come out and destroy that other, yeah. Okay, so now we have our yellow key. We can travel back through here, as discussed earlier. And now we can even go through here. And then get this. But who to kill with this one? This guy. There we go. That is such a fun level. I love the flow of it. It just goes together so nicely. Alright, next up is, I think, Delirium from uh, Jeffrey Barton. Yep, it is Delirium. Okay. So, this level, if I remember correctly, I remember there was a Hook Sokoban. That was the, the one thing I remember. There's also the really bizarre foil that... I don't remember why there was foil. Also, I cooked the level there. Okay, let's do this correctly. Let's do that. So we need to get all five of these buttons pressed, which is easy enough. And then we should be able to get through to at least one, if not both sides of that teleport. Yeah, it looks like both. Okay, cool. So there's a helmet here. And then there's a bunch of blocks here. So, what are we doing exactly? 
there's a hook that I see there. So apparently we are bringing hooked blocks over here with us. Oh yeah, this is where we pile in all these blocks. That's right. I remember now. We have to like line them all up so we can then get back to our previous area. Which is actually not as hard as I think I was making it out to be before. Okay, so this is... Yeah, this is where I have to do this weird hook Sogoban. I remember this. This is a really cool concept, by the way. I love how this works. And I'm probably going to get really frustrated when I can't get it here. But we'll see. Hopefully I can figure it out. Uh... First of all, I want to drop this somewhere so I can fit more stuff. Specifically this. Okay, I need to get them all on one side, I think. Uh, let's leave you there for now. I know there's a way to do it. I just need to remember how. How do you do this part? I do not remember. I'm going to push you up there, though. I just want to work on these three blocks for now. So maybe I have to start from a slightly different place with these. I wonder if that's the, the trick. I bet that's it. You just have to pile them all on one side like that. Because that way you can actually turn them around when you get down over here. That's probably all this is, just to do that. Because that way I can just go over here and then just do a little quick thing like that. There we go, we're done. That is a really fun level. I love the way it works. I love the fact that the, the ice block part wasn't as long as I thought it was. I think because I was initially confused about how it works, but it's really cool. I, I like that one a lot. Uh, two thumbs up for me on that one. And then level 100, Treasure Collection. This level, I thought for the longest time, I was on the fence about whether this was in. Mainly because of this ending part, where it kind of takes a while to get through all these bribes and stuff. But at the same time, this level is just so cool. It's, like from a concept standpoint, it's so much fun. So basically, you're going and just getting bribes, and it's a blast. Um... Okay, there's a Mimic there, and I'm not sure... Okay, I need to actually take these back. Let me drop these off first for going for more stuff. Actually, let's drop them off here. So yeah, you have to take all these bribes back. And what's funny about this... There we go. What's funny about this is... I need to get this annoying... There we go. That's what I want. I just need you to get there. Okay. You need to get all these bribes back before you push this button because it only works once when it switches the doors. And you need to get all the bribes to get those key thieves satiated properly. Which is uh, kind of a thing. 
Okay, so what was the point of this part? I'm trying to remember. There's no thin wall there. Uh... Oh, right. I'm supposed to get this blob up. Come on. Go up. Come on, blob. You know you want to. Blob. Come on, buddy. There we go. That That's what we needed. Oh, wait. I was supposed to get the blob to hold down the button first so I could get it. I'm dumb. All right. Start over. Okay, let's do that before we do anything else. There we go. All right, I'll come back around from the right side. So one of the things that I did not realize about this level when voting was that these are the walls of four square, not force square, four square from CC1. It totally was over my head that that was what this level was. I completely missed it. And I think the main reason is because I ne almost never go, like in that level, I don't go around to that part, like over here where the walkers are normally. So, like, I never really would have paid attention to any of that. So, yeah, I totally missed that. There we go. That's actually not that bad. So I love how here, where the fourth slide was, you get this treasure collecting area. And I need a yellow key, apparently. Any yellow keys I can find somewhere? Apparently it's way up there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put these in a way in safekeeping for now as well. Okay, so we got those. Do I just push that all the way up? Because I'm kind of worried about that. But I guess if I get a hook in the, right afterwards, it's not a big deal. That's right. I remember having this dilemma during voting. Yeah, I remember this. I remember having this issue. Except, I need to actually get that held down. Okay, this is problematic. Okay, so you need to go. And... Then I need to kill this thing. Cool, okay, I was worried that that was not going to hit. Okay, let's take these back. So yeah, the going back and forth thing, tech, I don't know, it doesn't bother me all that much now. I think it did initially, but I find it more fun than anything. Like, you feel like you're going out into the field and doing digging around and stuff, and then you bring all your stuff back. There's where the exit was in the original level. There we go. So now we can go back, and now we can push this. So that's how you get this on there. That's pretty slick. I, I, I like that. So the level doesn't actually expect you to... Uh, get there really quickly, which is nice. Okay, so with that in mind, I can finally... Well, and I still need a yellow tank control. Where is that? Uh... There. Okay, so I need... Oh, here's the yellow tank. So you need to go over there. So I need to get you into the little niche there first. Man, this level is going to be a thing to optimize. I don't know if I'm looking forward to optimizing this one. This, this is going to be kind of rough, I think. So then I can pull you down over here. So that way you can push the block down with your powers of tankness 
like that. Perfect. So let me go ahead and push this up too. I think this is the final run of uh, bribes as well. I don't know if I need the hook anymore. So I believe we have all we need. Oh wait, we have, we still have this. Can't forget that. This and I think that might be it. So let's count. We have seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 20. And there are 20 chips. All right, good. Well, let's go ahead and do it. This actually isn't that bad. just easily go around here like that. The fact that there's all these entrances and exits kind of helps. And we got one more round here. There we are. Alright, we got all six of our keys. And we are ready to exit. That is a very fun level. I really liked that one. Uh... It's definitely grown on me since voting. Still, I'm not looking forward to optimizing it, but still fun. All right, we are halfway done with the set. Whew! It is still the first night after the set's release. Uh, or the, the night of the set's release, I should say. So I'm going to head to bed, get some rest, and I'll be back to record even more. I'm really excited to take on the back half of the set. And I'm curious to see what the next level is. It's a Josh level, and I originally put pushing pull doors here. I don't know if it'd be so soon after Delirium, though, but I'm curious if that's it. Uh, I had Highlighter here, uh, so that can't be it. Ectoplasm, okay. That's a really good choice for this point. I'm surprised Casper wasn't before this, but, uh, but this one definitely works. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps the channel a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell to get notified of the next video. But until then, take care and I will catch you on the flip side.